Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Jamar Montgomery, and purchasing power matters to me because when inflation hits and haircuts get expensive, how am I going to be able to keep up? Purchasing power is all about maintaining your own financial independence and financial power. When I think about purchasing power, I think about how prices have gone up and certain assets that I have, maybe like gold or silver or even better, crypto, how crypto serves as protection against things like inflation. So when prices rise and I have assets that I can liquidate and turn into what we know as fiat currency or regular greenbacks, I maintain my purchasing power. See, purchasing power isn't just about being able to buy things. We have to really think about what money is. Money is a container for your time, your energy, your freedom, your talent. What we do with our time, our energy, our talent, and our freedom is represented oftentimes through the things that we buy or purchase or even better, invest in. So if I go and purchase things that depreciate like cars, like technology, gizmos. I've said, and I've utilized my purchasing power in a manner that may not be as fruitful for me in the future. But if I go and invest in things like precious metals or crypto or stocks or bonds, things that appreciate with value, I've maintained my purchasing power. I have invested in things that increase and multiply the effects of my time, my energy, talent, and freedom. I've gotten more than what I originally bargained for. So when I think about purchasing power, I think about, like I said, how expensive haircuts get, right? And my hair grows, grows pretty fast. Uh, I need a haircut almost 10 days. But if wages aren't necessarily going up, they're kind of staying the same. But the prices of everything is going up. Everything's from gas, from food, uh, lumber. Lumber went up by 400%. And I'm a real estate investor. When I think about how those things have affected me, I now recognize the importance of maintaining my purchasing power, of maintaining, well, I may not, a dollar doesn't buy the same thing that it used to buy 10 years ago, but an ounce of gold, an ounce of silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum is my favorite. Those things have not only kept their value, but increased in value. And they've increased in value at a much higher rate than inflation. So what has happened? My purchasing power, my purchasing power has been protected, has been fulfilled. So when I think about purchasing power, maintaining my purchasing power and protecting my purchasing power, I immediately think of crypto. And next I think about real estate. Why crypto? Crypto is the future. It literally is. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Augur, all these other different types of cryptocurrencies, but particularly the blockchain in general is the future. And we're now starting to unlock how to utilize it. That's why I have here the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. That's what I'm into. But I also think about real estate. I think about real estate. Why? Because no more real estate is being made. There's more people being born. There's going to be more people who need places to live. So I'm protecting my purchasing power and I'm making my purchasing power matter by the things that I invest in. Invest in crypto. Invest in Ethereum. It's one of the things that I teach. So if you would like more information, visit the links that I have up here. Uh, you, I can be found on Dr. Jamar Montgomery on Instagram and also Jamar Montgomery on Facebook. Thank you so much. Purchasing power matters. It really does.